Good morning, you beautiful people. In case you weren't aware, if you didn't watch yesterday's video or whenever I uploaded it, I'm in Copenhagen. Yes, I'm traveling again and I'm super excited. Yesterday was a great day. It's when I arrived and I still was able to do a ton of exploring. And uh, today is gonna be great as well. I woke up um, a couple hours ago pretty early, but I had some work to do. But now it's around 11 o'clock and we're gonna head up the coast, the east coast here in Copenhagen to a museum called the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art. And I'm super excited about it. But before we go there, I wanna show you the view from the place in which I'm staying. Let me show you. of the Humlebeck stop and uh, as I mentioned I'm going to the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art but I think I want to try to find some food first because I'm very hungry. Mm -hmm. Ham and cheese panino. I'm very happy although that's not looking too good over there. It has started raining pretty hard <laughs> while I was in this cafe having lunch and I still have like a 10 minute walk to get to the museum where I'm going. Uh, should I make it or should I wait? Okay, I did both. <laughs> I waited for a little bit for it to die down. It's still raining and now I'm walking, so wish me luck. All right, we've arrived. Look at this place. This goes down to a lake. I'm excited about this. Just try not to slip. Ah, <laughs> Almost fell with both of my cameras in my hands. Those stairs look a little bit more manageable. It is so friggin' peaceful out here, but I've been sitting out here for too long, so I've gotta move a lot more to see. I love all these little tiny stairs and walkways. It really honestly makes you feel like you're walking through a secret area that no one else knows about, even though it's here for everybody. I absolutely loved that place. I'm sorry I didn't talk more while I was in there explaining things. Um, it's sort of hard to do with museums. It's sort of the trick is that uh, you can't really do this sort of thing while you're in there. But also you're just experiencing everything as you're walking through for the first time usually. And this one was, this museum was special. I love the architecture. I think it's like prairie style architecture. It's just absolutely beautiful. And all the exhibits, the, uh, the video exhibits were awesome. If you find yourself in Copenhagen, make the trip up here. It's about 45 minutes away on the train. Totally worth it. So 
I'm in this restaurant to, and I came to get some dinner. It's open, the door's open, there's music playing, but there's no one in here. No one's here. Uh, should I just take my food? I got my meal. The line was a little long, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Also, we got a lot of stairs to go. <laughs> Lots of backups up here. It's very small. I think we're almost to the part where you go outside on the spiral staircase. We'll see. There's the Carolyn keyboard. Yeah. Very cool. These stairs are very narrow. So. Made it to the top. It's starting to get uh, This is it. This is the top. We're all above Copenhagen. Well, that that was wonderful. A lot of stairs. If you can't climb a lot of stairs, don't do this. Just enjoy it from the outside because it's tight and it's a long way up, as you can see. But man, what a cool experience. I'm so glad I did that. Uh, I'm really hungry now. I'm really thirsty. I heard of this place that's right along the water that's sort of like a, a box park. Lots of amazing food, lots of amazing drinks, and it's past lunchtime. So let's head there now. It took me at least a half an hour to make a decision between all the places here. There's so many and they all look really good. But I decided on this place right here, corn dogs. This one actually has meat in it, which I assume is like a hot dog. And this one actually has mozzarella in it, which I'm excited about. Those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, mainly in the last like two years or so, um, know that I have a tattoo on my wrist that is a tally of the continents I've been to. Let me show you. The one on the left, is for Asia when I was in Hong Kong I got it in Hong Kong and then the one on the right is for Africa I got it when I was in Morocco I decided to start this tradition to get this tattoo when I was in Hong Kong when I was in Asia and by that point I, I had already been to Europe so I never got my line for Europe my tally for Europe and I figure now that I'm back in Europe I might as well get my tally my line to signify that I've been to Europe and I got that tattoo in Europe so there's a guy that way that uh, does tattoos and he's gonna give me a pretty good deal. So we're gonna go get a tattoo. Cool. Looks great, thank you. All right, I now have my line for Europe. Europe was the first continent that I went to after leaving the United States, and I just didn't start the tattoo thing until I went to Asia and Hong Kong, so I've been behind. But now, the only one I still need to get that <laughs> that is a place I've been to is North America, obviously. What a beautiful place to enjoy a beer. Cheers. All right, needless to say, Refn was awesome. And this place is just so peaceful. 
<laughs> but uh, right now we're gonna head back to the city center in Copenhagen. I wanna see if it's not too late, fingers crossed, to catch a boat tour of the canals. I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, it's, it makes sense to have the proper Copenhagen experience by taking a canal tour on the boat. So fingers crossed, wish me luck that they're still open, they're still running. Let's go do that. All right, is a canal boat tour super touristy? Yes. Should you do it? Also yes. Not only do you learn a ton of history about Copenhagen, but you also have amazing, beautiful views of the whole city. Parts that I haven't even seen walking around, so definitely take one of those tours if you're here. And there are ones that are less expensive if you don't want to spend all the money, but it's maybe like 12 or 15 dollars US, so totally worth it. <laughs> 